Now we do have one more issue to deal with, and if we preview our animation, you can kind of see that the ball should be looking like it's rolling as it moves towards the hole. Now we can actually achieve that pretty easily just by adding some rotation to the dots that are hanging out on the ball. This isn't too hard because we already have a motion tween set up for it, and we don't have any rotation properties set for any of our other objects. But we can always go in and edit any motion tween that we've got set up in the timeline. Now as we've seen before, I could just move the playhead and set some rotation settings. But I want the ball to actually repeatedly rotate all the way around. Maybe two or even three times as it's moving towards the hole. And what you'll find is that setting up full rotations inside the keyframes is a little bit difficult. But there is an easier way. I'm just going to select the dimple layer, and we can see that when we select that layer, our property is filled with motion tween properties. Now that's different when I actually select the object and I'm seeing object properties. One of the things we can do with motion tween properties, you can see we have a special rotate section. Now I can use these properties to set a certain number of times to rotate and some additional angles even after that to rotate. And this will set up the rotation for the entire tween. Now let's go in and set that up on our dimples layer. I'm just going to click on the rotation section and you'll notice it will bring up a dialog that I can just type into. Let's try three rotations for starters. Now that's pretty easy because that just adds a three times rotation to the whole movement of the ball. So let's move our playhead around and we'll see what happens. You can see that the dimples are now rotating as the ball moves. Now I'm simply looking at the amount of rotation that I'm getting and seeing if it looks like the ball is sliding or if it's actually rolling. It looks to me like three times is pretty good, but you can always adjust the value up or down and even give it a little bit more angle rotation if you need to. Let me back this up and take a look at how it plays. I'm just going to hit the rewind and go over here to control and hit play. Now it actually looks like the ball's moving and rolling as it rolls towards the hole and drops in. Now obviously that rotation property is going to work on any motion tween that you've got. Now while we're still here, let's take a look at another way to preview your movie. The play command's okay, but it simply just plays everything right where it's sitting right now. If we go back up to the control menu, there's a second control called test movie. Now this will actually compile your movie and what's different is you'll be watching it like your users will be watching your movie. Instead of in the Flash program, you'll be watching it directly in the Flash player. I'll just choose the In Flash Professional option. You can see it's exporting my movie, and it pulls it up as a finished product, and we can watch our animation play through as the ball comes in and drops into the hole. And we can just close that panel right back up when we're done with it.